we've got our jump working, but there's definitely a few issues. In this tutorial, we'll take care of at least a couple of those, starting with our insane multi-jump. So let's get started with getting rid of this multi-jump ability. To do that, we're going to start by heading right back into our script. And essentially what we're going to want to do here is make it so that our player can only jump if he is currently on the ground. That way when you're in the air, he won't be able to keep on jumping. This part's going to get a little complicated as there are a lot of steps. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to create something called a public layer mask. And we're going to call this ground layer. Essentially, this will allow us to label objects in the game as ground so that when our player is on them, he's able to jump. We're also going to add a brand new, we can make this one private because we don't need it to use it in Unity, boolean. Now a bool just means a true or false value variable. So this one's going to be a variable that's going to check to see if our player is grounded. So if it's true, that means our player is on the ground and he's allowed to jump. If it's false, he won't be able to jump. We're going to create something else, a public transform variable. Transform, remember, is the component in Unity that keeps track of our position and rotation and scale. And in this case, we want to keep track of the position of specifically our player's feet. And the final variable that we're going to create for now is another public thing. This one's going to be a float. And this one is going to be a ground check circle. So essentially, this is going to be the size of, we're going to make an invisible circle on our feet, and it'll check to see if that circle overlaps with the ground. All right, that was a whole lot of variables. Let's put them to work so we can actually get our player jumping. Once again, we're going to be down in the update function here, and we're going to just move to the part where we've got our jump happening. Now, one of the things we want to check is whether or not we are on the ground in order to be able to jump. So before we actually process the jump, I'm just going to hit space, enter a couple of times. We're going to tell Unity what is grounded, how it's going to check to see whether or not we're grounded. So is grounded is going to be equal to, we're going to put in some physics calculations here, and essentially Unity will check to see whether they're true or not. So we're going to head into physics 2D. It's just meaning we're dealing with 2D physics here. And we're going to put a dot and explain which 2D physics we're going to be using. First of all, it's going to create an overlap circle. This is that invisible circle I told you about that's going to appear at our feet. And now we're just going to tell it what to do with that circle. First of all, we're going to have the circle appear at our feet position, so wherever our feet are. The size of the circle will be equal to our ground check circle. And what do we want it to check? Well, we want it to check and see whether or not it is touching the ground layer. There's all those variables we were dealing with up above. You'll notice that Unity is not liking my feet position, and that's because I just forgot to say. That'll help Unity find the transform of our feet, but at the moment it doesn't know whether we're referring to the position of our feet, their rotation, or their size. So I'm just going to put dot position. So to recap, this line of code here is going to return a true or false value about whether or not we're on the ground. It'll create an invisible circle, place that circle at our player's feet, make the circle the same size as our ground check circle variable, and finally check to see if that circle overlaps the ground. So now we're going to have Unity check two things, not just one. Originally it was just checking for whether or not we're pushing the jump button, but now we're going to have it check first of all to see if is grounded is equal to true and, and you put two ands. Now, funny thing with code here, when we're doing equals, if we're checking to see if something's equal, we always put two equal signs. If you only put one equal sign, then it would actually set is grounded to be true, which is not what we want. We just want it to look and see whether or not it's true. We also put a double and anytime we're adding two functions. So now it'll just be, we'll only be able to jump if we're on the ground, that, if that's true, and if we are pushing the jump button. Let's head back into Unity for a second. And now that we're back in Unity, what we want to do is make sure that all of our ground is actually showing up as ground. That way our player will know when he collides with it. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up into our inspector and under layer, we're going to add a new layer. We're going to have to create a new one. I'll do it here in number six and we'll call this one ground. 
I can now grab any objects in Unity that are ground. And I can go over here and make sure that they are labeled as ground. Also, I'm going to go to my knight. And in his player movement script, there's some work to do. First of all, it wants to know what is the ground layer. Well, the ground layer is the one we just made called ground. Excellent. Now, how about our feet position? At the moment, Unity doesn't actually know what our feet are. We're going to need to tell it. So what I'll do over here in my hierarchy, I'm going to right click on our knight and I'm going to create an empty game object and we'll call this one feet position. I'll now just check if I zoom in on it here and I want to make sure that my feet position is actually where my feet are. I'm just going to give it a little gizmo here, a red one we'll go with. And that way we'll be able to actually see where my feet are. So that if I grab my move tool now, that's really huge, <laughs> but I can actually put this down by my feet. So now you can actually see where they are. That won't show up in the game, but it's kind of nice to be able to see it for now as I'm figuring things out. Now when I click on my knight and it wants to know where the feet position is, well, I can drag that in there. Finally, the ground check circle just needs to know how large to make the circle. If I made it one, it would be one meter in game, which would be most of the height of my character. So that would be much too large. So I'm going to put 0.3. All right, at this point, we should more or less be ready to go. Okay, so I'm jumping just fine, like I always have able to move just fine, but I'm still, no, I cannot triple jump, which is terrific. Now it only works so that I can only jump if I am currently on the ground. Now, <laughs> it looks a little bit silly, admittedly. Uh, we'll work on that yet, but we've got our first step down. 